Chief, I want to start with um, first. Give me, I guess, your initial reaction to finding out that there were problems with this program. Did you expect to have as many problems as we're hearing about? We, we expected that there would be a, a significant learning curve. It took four years for this project from procurement to implementation to the go live. And, you know, it's been two weeks and a few days since uh, the go live. So we, we expected it to be uh, some, some challenges with particularly users, our officers, not having been trained uh, more recently. Uh, you know, we started training officers back 18 months ago. And so uh, this is not uh, an unusual occurrence with a big rollout. But it's significant. This program touches every part of our operation. And so, uh, but the uh, issues that we are faced with, you know, it's causing us to scramble quite a bit to keep up with with the pace of the challenges as they occur. And so that's the part that's a little bit overwhelming for our officers and for our staff members and our investigators, everybody trying to keep pace with the number of challenges as quickly as they're happening. But it's, it's a 24 hour, seven day a week operation. There's no downtime to, to sit and train and learn. You have to do it all on the fly. Is it more about users, issues with users, or are you finding other glitches yeah. in the program? That the, 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 the part of it is user error, that's part of it. Uh, there's, a, there's a big part of it that's also the speed of the program needs to be increased. And we let the vendor know that. And our CIS folks are uh, helping with that as well. And then there's also uh, a functionality issue regarding you know, what we can see of what's been entered. And so we need to do some temporary patches, fixes, until we get a permanent fix uh, for, for the go forward. Are you frustrated? Very. And, and officers are, detectives are, uh, and it's all across the board. Our new cops, our veteran cops are all very frustrated because we've had a, a system for 30 years that uh, we've had. And it was outdated, antiquated, not, not easily uh, worked on. If you had problems with it, it would go down all the time, but it was familiar. And this is a new system that's very unfamiliar, and so we're going to have errors probably for several more weeks, and we're just working through it as diligently as we can, but again, the frustration level is very high after two and a half weeks of the go live. What of these glitches, um, running the gamut from paperwork to people being released when they shouldn't have been, is the well, most concerning for you? Well, you know, we, we never want to get uh, to a point where people that need to be in jail are, are not in jail, so that's number one. Uh, we're not able to address the concerns uh, expressed about whether or not missing persons uh, have been entered in, in a timely manner. So that's, that's another issue. And the fact that our investigators are having delays in being able to look at uh, some of the uh, work done by our officers in a timely manner and then our legal team not able to uh, file in a timely manner with the DA's office. And so all of that is a concern. It's, it's, it's a problem that we, we are aware of. We're working through it. Uh, we, 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 at some point, we believe we'll be caught up and have temporary fixes and uh, enough to where we can have a permanent fix, at least on a, on a timeline. But again, with two and a half weeks on, a, on such a large, complex system like the RMS, but there's uh, really, I need to emphasize this, that there's no going back to an old, broke, antiquated system. I mean, the, the system that we had, even though it was familiar, ha had a useful life that was, it was really way past its useful life. So we, we, we are going to be using this system. It's a matter of getting more familiar. Do we know at this point how many people have been wrongly released? And do we know if any of them have been picked back up at this point? Is there uh, Y'all have to help me with it. Was 17 the latest number we had? Um, or do we have a different number other than 17? There was uh, property crime. 17 properties. 17 property. Then on the uh, other crime side, there was 12. So some of those were legitimate released, and some of those were uh, by design. Uh, there were four of those were intended to be released because the victims were not coming forward and cooperating with the case when they dropped the case. Right. So the process just didn't allow for the, for the release paperwork, and so they dry rated instead of release paperwork. So the quick answer that I would like to say on camera, one is too many. It's not acceptable. And, and we, we have expressed that to 
the vendor and to CIS department team, and they're working as diligently as they can to fix that. Um, but one is too many. You know, we, we're we've got some workarounds to to ensure that that doesn't happen. But there were some in the pipeline that were not being processed in a timely manner, and that is the speed of the system and the way and how many entries we make is is the most significant problem we have, and that's. That's being worked on, and, and there are some, some manual things we're doing that are just temporary fixes, but we, we, we need to quickly find a permanent fix. I want to talk a little bit about the scrambling that you're doing, which I would imagine right. is paying people overtime to work on we things are. or finding people to uh, fix these bugs, build a patch, calling yes. the company. What Express to me sort of all of those things that are happening. Well, there's, there's, there's a laundry list. You know, Most of it is very manual, very labor intensive. And very frustrating. Uh, we are paying people overtime to ensure we have a team assigned to the go live. So doing this several weeks of looking at what the system is doing, it, it, we're paying people and they're working. Some of them, some of them have been working around the clock, dedicated to, to making sure this is done right. And so you know, beyond that, we're working with the DA's office, we're working with some of our civilian staff who do some of the case filings in our, uh, in our legal services uh, division. And so some of them are as, as frustrated as some of our detectives and some of our officers. And so it, it's just all of the above. And it's, this is to be expected, this part of the learning curve, that, that after two weeks, you couldn't go from a 30-year system that everyone was familiar with to a very new system. Uh, and, and you know if we couldn't run dual systems, that wasn't pragmatic run both at the same time with how many entries we make. And so this is the part of uh, technological advancement and, and, and getting better. At the end of the day, we believe we'll, we'll be better off with this new system than we were with the old system, but the growing pains are, are uh, right now very frustrating. And they've got to be worse than you expected. I mean, I would doubt anyone in the sales pitch to you guys for the new program, I'm sure they said that there wouldn't be it wouldn't be at a point where we're missing cases and people are being let go. Yeah, the the, the, the missing case, missing the file in the case in a timely manner is about the speed of the program. And we, we, we did anticipate some of, of the issues, but not that one issue. So that one issue is really, if you look downstream, is, is causing all the other issues. The, the, the speed of the program has, has to be much quicker. And so if you look at, uh, say for example, the three-day rule. Mm -hmm. So the speed of the program will contribute to the three-day rule. But there's also, uh, in, in, in between that, being able to have access to look at what's been entered. There has to be a patch fix for that. And so all of that is uh, identified and being addressed. It's just, it just can't happen soon enough for us because of our business. We're, we're making the city of Dallas safe. And so some of these, uh, some of these issues result in what you've identified as people being released that should be in jail. Um, I had heard, uh, I think it was about a week or a few days ago, that they said they hope to have everything back up and running, at least in a smoother fashion, by the end of the month, as far as you know. It's going to be several weeks. No, it's going to be several weeks because the familiarity is just not there with the user. And so some of it is the user's not doing it, doing the process in the right way. And so, uh, and we looked at other rollouts of this type of program along with in other cities, and they had similar experiences. And, and much of it is, is the learning curve of how to utilize the system. And so the, the more we get the uh, kind of the, the things that need to be fixed with the system as far as speed is concerned, then we can focus on just training of how to enter and how, how to report, how to use the system in, in the right way. Officers can expect another round of training sessions. Yes, definitely. And I think we're putting out regular updates that we have been uh, to the officers uh, about what to do, how to fix common problems, frequently asked questions. We've done all of that. And it, it's just a new technology uh, from an antiquated technology, but everyone was familiar with it. And it's just going to be part of the, the, the ongoing challenge for us as we continue. Uh, the rollout, you know, two and a half weeks is, I, I don't know that you can write this story yet. I think you give it several more weeks of rollout and we, then we come back and revisit some of these same issues. 
that's where I think you would say we're concerned. Right now, we're just frustrated with something new. What would you say to um, some victims that I know our station has spoken with that are concerned that they did have someone who threatened them or hurt them um, released because of this? We recognize this is not acceptable. We don't accept it. We're highly frustrated, but we're doing all we can to make it right. Uh, people who have been released who should be in jail, we're pursuing them, and uh, we're, we're, we're just not going to stop doing our job because of a new system. We, we are going to be diligent. There are dedicated officers and detectives in this department that will do the right thing. Uh, we're, we're experiencing quite a few growing pains and, and quite a bit of a learning curve. The old system just wasn't going to be sustainable over time. It was going to break down on us. It had been breaking down on us, and I'm just uh, asking the citizenry to, to bear with us as we get through this. Lastly, is there anything you would have done differently? I know it's only two weeks, hindsight, but anything you would have changed about the rollout or? We, we, I think we prepared. It, it, was four, it was a four year preparation from procurement to go live. I, I would have liked to have seen a lot more of our officers utilize the training that was available. Some of it was, you know, you can make yourself familiar, but it was a voluntary thing to get familiar with it. And some didn't take advantage of that. I, I would have also liked to have seen um, maybe some things work through with our partners that were being affected, like the DA's office and our legal services department to work through some things. But we're doing it now. And there's no excuses. Uh, it's not acceptable. And, and, and we fully understand that. And again, we're, we're committed and dedicated to making it right. Anything else I missed or anything you wanted to release to you? No, I think we're good. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you so your time much. coming, coming by on short notice. Yeah. Yeah.